One's interim flyweight champ, Jay Hay Eustachio, is just like gravity. You can fight him. You can even beat him. But he'll never go away. Before taking up pro MMA, the 10 and 6 Filipino fighter was a national wushu champion with a competition record of 38 and 2. Since his debut in one, he's amassed the fourth most wins in the promotion's history, and he's only getting better. He spent his early bouts picking apart his opponents with superior power, speed, and a freakish ability to wear heavy strikes and keep coming. But when those early victories earned him his first title fight against the champ Adriano Marias, a BJJ black belt who had submitted his way through the very best one had to offer, Marias submitted him with a second round guillotine, and it was clear that Eustaquio had a weakness. In his next bout, the kickboxer Anit Pong Bunrad whittled away a split decision via a handful of takedowns and grappling. And while his striking remained on point, as Saiful Marikan found out the really hard way, Johnny Suba almost outpointed him by threatening with takedowns. And the Finnish submission sensation Tony Taru completely outclassed him with a first round rear naked choke. To get another shot at the title, Yustaquio had to focus on his grappling, and the results were immediate. In his rematch against Boonrad, Yustaquio kept them standing for three rounds, until Boonrad took him down off a head kick. From there, though, he controlled the fight and even reversed the position to finish on top and with his hand raised. Against the former champ and Kazakh wrestling phenom Kairat Akhmatov, Yustaquio would have all of his new grappling skills tested not once, but twice. Eustachio should have won the first bout in the first round if it weren't for a referee mix-up. Instead, he had to survive two rounds of takedowns only to lose by a contentious split decision. In the rematch, Gravity stuffed takedowns, got back to his feet, and threatened with submissions of his own to beat one of the best grapplers in all of MMA and to claim the interim title. Eustachio is now a more complete fighter than he's ever been, but can he beat the two-time champ Moraes to become one's undisputed flyweight champion? Find out this June 23rd, when Gravity gets his chance to crush the Black Diamond at one's pinnacle of power.